So in no particular order, here are the top 10 jewelry tools that I must have to do the work that I do. Number one, a Dremel tool with a large assortment of different bits. Here's the Dremel tool I use. It even has a little face on it. Here's some diamond bits. Here's some buffing pads, you're definitely going to need those. Here's buffing compound. And a bunch of different bits. Ranging from drill bits, to hard diamond bits, to buffing wheels. Number two, an assortment of torches. So this is a propane torch, which is what I started with, and it's the cheapest and easiest one to get. This is a butane torch from Harbor Freight. Don't get one of these, they don't work very well. And this is a oxygen acetylene mini torch that I use for everything now because it's awesome. And that little tiny flame right there gets to 6,000 degrees. This is what it could do to a piece of copper wire. And if you try this with your other torches, it won't do this. Or it will, and it'll take a lot longer and not be as good. There we go. Number three, a pickle pot with, well, pickling compound. So, this is the pickling compound, which you're going to need if you're going to be soldering. And this is a small crock pot with water and pickling compound in it. This is a must if you're going to be soldering at all. Number four, an assortment of hammers. So, you're going to need a metal hammer like this. This is a chasing hammer, actually. This is a small hammer I got from Harbor Freight that has removable ends. So it's great for making texture. And the other end is actually a soft tip made out of nylon. So that's really useful. Number five, a large assortment of pliers. You're going to need just about all of these. Some round nose pliers, some thick flat nose, some cutters, some pointed flat nose, some more cutters, some teeth, and these I don't even use anymore because I melted the tip of them. Number six, a jeweler saw, or saws, like I have. This is a three inch jeweler saw, and this is an eight inch jeweler saw that I use for just about everything because it's way easier. As you see, I use it a lot, and there's a tiny little blade on here, and it will cut right through your finger if you slip. So keep that in mind. And here's all the blades you'll need in all different sizes. Number seven, files. All kinds of files. This all came in one set of files. Not all of it you use, just a couple, like this. This one I use for just about everything. Some others that you don't really use, like these. They're way, way too rough, and they just get caught on anything you're doing. On the other hand, these will work for what you're working with. Same thing with this. And the needle files are very handy for tiny little spaces that you can't get any of the other files into. Number eight, digital caliper and ruler. So, here's a ruler I use very rarely, if ever. This, on the other hand, I use for just about everything I make. So, you definitely need one of these. Number nine, bench pin and anvil setup. So this is a mini anvil, which you're going to want, or something similar to it, for this area. Because you're going to want to flatten things, and wood is probably going to be your best friend for this. So just put it on top, hit it with a hammer, you got something flat. This is your bench pin. And you cut a little groove in here for when you're using your jeweler saw to cut whatever you're cutting. Like this. This is the anvil part that comes with it. And you can also use the wood block here. Or if you really need to, you can use both of these together. And just hit right here with the hammer. 
And last but not least, number 10, something to heat your metal on. If you can only get one, get a charcoal block. It is maybe one of the best $5 I've ever spent. And messy. This is a ceramic heating plate, basically. It's really good. It's a little more expensive, though. This I made. It's a reverse uh, tweezers in the bottom of a third arm. And this is really handy for making anything that has a bezel. You can actually heat stuff from the bottom. So all you do is you take your torch and put it underneath. And you can heat from down here and melt the solder on the top. All right, so that just about wraps all of that up. Those are all the tools that if I did not have one of them, I basically would be lost if it didn't function. Uh, my next video will be coming out this Monday, and it will be on how to use a jeweler saw, or really how I use a jeweler saw the wrong way and still make it work. All right, well, thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Please share, subscribe, like, comments, whatever you fancy, and I'll see you guys next time.